Welcome to a special victory edition, with Rams victory. And we got with us right now, center Brian Allen out of Michigan State, who celebrated his 26th birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Brian. I appreciate you know, it. Brian, Con- Connolly's taken my whole opening, so I was trying to give something good. But what I like to find out now from these, the young guys, do you have any idea who Kevin Dillon is? Does he have a, like a, a familiar <laughs> ring, his face, or no? Johnny Drama, come oh, on. face rings a bell. Yeah, there, there we go, go, Brian. He knows. You know. But do you I'm, know who Doug Allen is? <laughs> you don't know <laughs> who Doug Allen is. That's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm fine he with does. that. He knows. I'm, I'm, well, he knows I'm now a big because fan. somebody prepped him. All well, right. Dude. That's awesome to hear. When did we, you start watching Entourage? Yeah, probably, uh, probably like middle school. Wow, okay, yeah. so all right, right so he's first run. Right. I got a little entourage a of my own out here. Are... We, uh, we have a little entourage house with the Rams. I have a uh, little four-bedroom house with a pool in Woodland Hills. We got a nice. house is like a nice. hostel. Oh, nice. My neck awesome. of the woods. I'm going to have to come by and hang out with you guys. If you through, really want to dial up the party. Yeah, if you want to dial it up, you I'll invite show up Dylan. There. Yeah. Invite some old 50 year olds to your parties. You're really, <laughs> really make it exciting. So, so Brian, you know, we had Andrew Whitworth on the show early on. He was actually our first athlete to come on. And uh, I wanted to, do you hang out with Andrew off the field? Uh, every now and then it's a little different when you're uh, 40 getting away from the building, but uh, you know, he's got kids and stuff <laughs> to look after. So just worrying about myself a little, little different. Yeah. So how's the team feeling right now? You guys are looking so good. Um, is it just a great time right now? Yeah. You know, it's a, uh, it's a lot of fun right now. Things are going well, but uh, at the same time, still, still early. We're, uh, are we four and one going into week six and a lot of football left to be played still. So, you know, it's exciting where we're at and you know, just building. So right now you're, you're, you're at the, you're at the big spot. You're the center. Okay. What, what kind of, how different is that? And, and, and it's just the, the level of responsibility changes a great deal, right? Yeah, I think that's uh, one thing a lot of people don't understand is everyone thinks, you know, offensive linemen, they're all pumped up and ready to go kill somebody. But you know, that's it's really not it. You're really trying to stay as calm and clear and, you know, just at ease as possible because you got to worry about so much every snap and see so many things that for three hours, you're really just, you know, locked in looking at so much shit that people don't take into account. and tendencies and, and stuff like that every, every week it's different and it's a different puzzle to figure out and just a lot of a lot of things and, that and go over the normal change? fans head. how does it how does it change from you you had jared last year and now matthew comes in stafford and what changes for you having someone different behind you yeah it's just uh you know a different relationship different uh different feel it's just you know playing the game with somebody else you're seeing it through a little bit of a different way Jared was great and you know Matt's doing what he's doing now and it's been fun to kind of have a you know perspective of playing with both of them but you know having Matt come in is uh is pretty cool you know being a guy from the, the Midwest I'm from Chicago so I watched him kind of tear up the hey, NFC did, were you North. a center in college I was yeah I, my, my little brother actually okay, sat on a plane next to you he's the center at Michigan State right now I don't know if you'd remember that but nice yeah nice. he's got a picture with you we're all excited you I did you did, yeah. He I sat, sat next, next to Dylan to... on a plane? Wow. Wow. Big fan. He was looking at Dylan. That. He was looking at Dylan like, look at who's this little pipsqueak. Look <laughs> at this little pipsqueak. I think I re- might remember that. Now that you it say was that. probably he, in like the last year. How many bottles did he catch Dylan grab from the mini bar? <laughs> yeah. We, we had a couple bevies, didn't we? <laughs> he sent a uh, he sent a text to the family group chat. You made, uh, you made the family group text. Wow. Nice. Dylan made the wow, look at this. Oh, they were looking at the size of them. Yeah. So that yeah. must have been so cool playing with two of your brothers. I got a bunch of brothers myself. So. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a fan. Some you about, played with some an older about brother. In this... I got the Dylan family down. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I love it. I love nice. this hearing from the younger generation. I mean, that's awesome. So, t- you know, we just had, you know, we just had your, your, your captain safety on the show. And he's so focused and seems like at 23 or 24, whatever he is, that he's just focused on football can you give us some fun that you're having like what like what's going on How's on the road party? yeah what's up with the parties at the house in woodland hills yeah. I, I don't know if i can talk about that too much we had a we had a short <laughs> we had a short week or a short week we had a mini bye week this week so i don't know if i'm supposed to be sharing this but i uh may have accidentally <laughs> snuck away to the desert for a for a couple hours out uh out east there you go all right oh, boy. i like it Good. all right question is do you get nervous when you have to do the shotgun is, it, is a shotgun <laughs> more of a complicated snap than a regular snap or the same thing? 
Um, m- more so in shotgun run plays. Shotgun pass plays, you're kind of going back with the motion of the ball. Run plays, you're going all over the place. So, and it's different for like a righty versus a lefty. And you know, say I'm moving right, the ball's naturally going to trail to the left. If I'm moving left, it's going to trail to the right. So, you know, kind of a muscle memory thing that uh, you know, you kind of get over time. But you know, there's definitely a real kind of getting the ips there factor that you can just sometimes it's not always like riding a bike or you know sometimes you like to hope get out there and think that it's going to be like that but you know you got to go out there and kind of gauge it and see where you're at and see where you're throwing them so it's not as uh you're not the the long snapper are you no 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 are you the long snapper real real that's snapper those are different those are the game, specialists right? yeah that's different position yeah right. yeah but could you yeah. long snap if something happened and he got hurt? Could I am, you do? I am uh, one of the emergency long snappers. Yeah, All right. emergency All right. long snapper. That's a uh, you know, and, and that, I was, that's I, a scary thought because if the long snapper ever does get hurt, <laughs> our uh, our special teams coordinator doesn't know this, but we might be uh, might be screwed on that one. Well, that's one of the things that's always funny about the centers and the long snappers and and a lot of these guys. Like you don't you don't hear their names usually until they make a mistake right you don't you don't hear wow this guy is a long snapper and he's got you know however many consecutive snaps you just all of a sudden they cut to a close-up of a guy it's always kind of seemed unfair to me so does that pressure hang on over the long snapper's head or 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 he's just used to it at this point yeah just used to it he's got uh very few responsibilities so can't screw those up (laughs) <laughs> well, I think what's I think what's interesting, and I talked about this when uh, Andrew Whitworth was on our show, but the the athleticism and the intelligence that it requires to be on the offensive line is something that I think people really underestimate. And you know, as I just showed these guys before, Whitworth put on a, his golf swing, you know, on, on Instagram the other day, and it's like amazing for yeah he's got a good swing by the way not even for a guy that size his swing looks unbelievable he must hit the ball what are are you playing golf and is your like just tell me a little bit about your other athletic achievements before you started playing the line yeah i uh well i I did start playing golf about a uh about a year ago during covid Witt actually gave me his uh his uh backup set of clubs he uh drove me over to sherwood and uh Got the the bag guy. Nice. Just That's where I live. Throw me a uh, I love to throw me up. a bag with a bunch of plastic covered heads. So it wasn't a uh, a bad gift. But my uh, my game right now is not too good. It's kind of like drama <laughs> against Tom Brady. So it's a work in progress. <laughs> well, Dylan lives at Sherwood. Just break his clubs. Break his clubs if you get angry. <laughs> Dylan's at Sherwood, so you guys will definitely have to like tee I, it I up. Worked out there this yeah, morning. No so I was over there. Nice. Nice. Got to work bench? on that first gate. 8 a.m. gets uh, gets jammed up over there. I know. That gate could be a pain in the butt. It gets a little backed up. Well, what, we, we were looking at this thing. What, you, you bench press 225. How many times? Was 27. It 27. 27. 27. Yeah. So, Dylan, how many times do you think Dylan could do that? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I'll give him two. I can't do two. Two. You'd be able to fight through a couple. No. Nah. No, nah, bro. I couldn't do it. No. I couldn't do it. No, you definitely couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I mean, uh at my peak, I might have been able to do one. <laughs> At his peak. At his, when, when, when was, was, when was that, by the way? <laughs> it's been a minute. That would have been about 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a minute. It was before, right. before your days at Michigan State, that's for sure. So, Brian, you do a little boxing too, right? Uh, I was I was a wrestler growing up, so my dad wrestled. That was my, my first sport, and I've kind of done a little uh, bit of all the MMA stuff. So. Nice, nice. So you were like high school. You didn't wrestle in college, did you? Yeah. So I, I was. Uh, I had two brothers. So we were all state champ wrestlers, and then got recruited to wrestle, and we all ultimately chose football. But we were probably better wrestlers than football players. <laughs> really, you all three of you guys were state champions. Uh, state champ oh, heavyweights. Man, I mean, you guys just the Midwest you guys, is tough yeah. in wrestling. You guys must have terrorized the high school. I'm trying uh, to imagine, imagine this this family in the high school. Nobody was messing around with you guys. How 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 far in age are you guys apart? So my my older brother's three years older. He played three years and some change in the NFL. And then my little brother is a senior at Michigan State. Uh-huh. He's center there now. So top ten uh, ranked Spartans. They uh, they might be back. Team. That's that's great. Did you guys so, play high school ball together at all? Um, so I was in high school for one year with my older brother, then two years with my younger. Nice, nice. What position did you play? So we're all centers. Center as yeah. well. 
So okay. when someone was at center, maybe I, tight I, I played with my, and I was all, thinking all maybe three tight of us played or... at uh, Michigan State, too. So I got to play with all of them there. And out, so out, let's get outside of football for a little bit. So we're glad to hear you watched the Entourage, and that's awesome. Oh, what are, they're what so are you, happy. These guys are so happy. What are I'm, you I'm not now? kidding like, when I say shows? I've seen every every episode about five or six times. That's usually the uh, the first off season nice. activity is sit down and uh, start start season one and kind of just get through it. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. And what are you watching now? What do you like that's on TV today? I just finished that uh, Squid Game. I got on that. Uh, Little Netflix show for a little. That was a quick hitter. Animal Kingdom on uh, Showtime. Yeah, it's a good one. I like that yeah. one. Um, Is that on Showtime? I thought it was TNT, but uh, but uh, might be what TNT. do you think of Squid Game? It was good. Definitely a little different, but uh, cool. Uh, we want to. I haven't seen Squid. I got to get into. The we want to do that to Dylan. We want to like put him in a fight for the death, <laughs> you know, and like see how he can make it, you know. But it's it's a uh, violent, violent. You show, get some but. viewers for that one. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely violent. Yeah. I'll fight to the death. I'll fight you guys to the death. I'm not fighting him. <laughs> oh, Ted, Ted Lasso just finished up season two last night. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a real good show. People love Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is very popular. Since I'm, I'm here, I got to ask, are, are we getting a reboot or is that just going to be a, a pipe yeah, dream? Good question. question. We got to talk to Doug Ellen about that. Yeah, we're, you know, I, 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 mean, I follow all you guys on uh, Instagram. I see the, uh, the reboot. Uh, you're baiting people every now and then with it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah. I mean, it started yeah. out as like a marketing ploy for the podcast, but now it's starting to gain some traction. If, so if we'll you need any happens, fundraising, you know? I can uh, I can throw the hat around the Rams building. I love it. There I love go. it. You know, we go. Brian, right now, get you to do a cameo. Doug Ellen is currently suspended from Instagram, so yeah. you will not be seeing any what, you do? promotions. <laughs> yeah. He's on a thirty day. We don't know what he did. I'm not sure what I did. Suspension. I mean, I, I might have told someone. I might have told someone that girlfriend was ugly after they abused me with about something, you know, like, I don't know. Do you get a lot of hate at all on your Instagram? Are I mean, you on social media? I, I am on social what? media, but, but like you said, uh, no one, no one really knows unless we screw up. So it kind of goes, uh, goes the same in, uh, in real life too. No one really uh, cares about the fat guys. So we just fit in where <laughs> we can get it. Well, we'll try to do our best to spread the word. I don't have my Instagram, but this, so last question, does Connolly could, could he, Pass for Sean McVay's people father. People tell me I look like Sh- his father. People tell me I look like Sean McVay. I don't say that. I'm that's just what I. He's do. got a lot of hit the gym a little bit more. You, you guys What's are definitely that? the same height, so you got that going for yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> and I, you know, we have. I don't uh, think so. No? Conley, have, how tall are you? Uh, five seven. And I think he's a little taller than five seven. Right, but I also have strong. But, leadership but if you needed to act him in a show or something, he could pull it off. Yeah, exactly. I could I could hit yeah. the weights. Uh, get we'll the put weight. you on an Apple box. <laughs> I could put on 20 pounds and play Sean McVay in a movie. Well, Trust we'll me. see. Hopefully okay. they get it this year. I mean, the team's looking great. I'm feeling good about it. I hope you guys keep rolling. And, uh, you know, we can't thank you enough for coming and doing this. And uh, we're really excited for what happens uh, for the rest of the year. And we got to get you. Maybe I'll jump in. Connolly's really obsessed with golf this year. So it would be great to get Andrew Whitworth, oh, Dylan, yeah. and you and Connolly. Oh, out of course. Way, yeah. Whitworth, Whitworth sent me a text and he said he liked my swing. I didn't ask Ew. him. I did not ask him. He it was a it was a compliment that came in. He, yeah, he, he, like, he, he told like me he liked mine too. Drive. I shot a uh, 112 last time I was there. So <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't hold Brian, that com- the first time, compliment with any merit. <laughs> the first time I ever played organized golf was with these guys at Sherwood and uh with Wayne Gretzky. And it was an absolute disaster. I lost like 60 balls. They were all making fun of me. Connolly put one in from over a hundred yards out with Wayne Gretzky holding the stick. It's called clutch. It's called being a clutch player. It's called, it's called a lot of bad memory. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He signed the ball 99, gave me the ball back. It's a very sad moment for me, but anyway, it's a sad th- th- moment for everybody. this was great. Wishing you the best of luck for the season and uh, definitely let's uh, try to all tee it up. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, let's go out with a victory though. Huh? <laughs> victory. <laughs> All right, bro. I need to All get right, one so more. Listening. Can you give me one more in a sec? Yeah. Oh, Dylan loves you. You want kidding? another victory? Yeah, th- thanks like for having me. Let me right. get one. All right, here we go. Here's for you, Brian. <laughs> victory! Here we go. Have a great week. <laughs> now, All Brian, right, right. Brian, you, easy, Brian, man. you might get a bill from Cameo from Dylan for that one. But... <laughs> That's going to cost yeah. you 300 bro. It's cost 350 bro. 350. I've been on there right. before. <laughs> thanks buddy be All well right. thanks so much you, All right, Brian. you take it easy bro that Thank wraps you. up this episode of rams victory brought to you by bud light